What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to a day like I don't really know, I don't quite know what's happening at the moment. I've just handed back the Porsche 718 Cayman S at Porsche Colchester and walked across the car park and been handed the keys to the Ferrari Colchester 488 GTB demonstrator and today I have got total free reign to drive this car. This car is kind of at the top end of turbocharged supercars. I'm creating a totally separate video which is going to include the Porsche, the McLaren and the Ferrari and trying to compare them all together. Um, but this video is going to be my first impressions of the Ferrari 488 GTB and I know one person who is going to be jealous of this, Sam. I hope you're watching and I hope you enjoy. five we're all over here Alex you excited yes <laughs> I can't face. wait <laughs> and I've got oh. the GoPro set up this is how far we've got my GoPro is now gonna sit here because apparently the memory card is full let's put the park on that's Ferrari Colchester down there this is how far we've got and we've run out of memory on my GoPro so what Alex is gonna have to do now is literally you're gonna have to hold the camera up there anyway onwards you ready yeah <laughs> and yeah let's just go this way actually no let's go this way it's so easy to drive it's so easy to drive to just cruise around I'm in sixth gear at 33 miles an hour. Good fuel economy. This is gonna be good fuel economy. I've got a full tank, which is very kind of uh, Ferrari Colchester. Um, to, I mean, oh, how many sizes has it got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon shaped steering wheel. Oh, there's a downshift. And to get used to this car, I'm just going to slowly ease into it, but damn, I'm driving a 488. <laughs> open at three and a half thousand rpm so when you're cruising in seventh gear at 65 70 miles an hour the valves stay shut meaning that it is incredibly quiet and very relaxing and i'm sure once you turn the music up it's a really chill drive and very easy to drive very very easy to drive you can hear the turbos like i love that i used to hate that i used to be all about the formula one high pitch naturally aspirated which i still am kind of but i'm falling in love with the turbo sound Oh yes! Come on, Sam! <laughs> That's Ferrari! 
because I've only experienced the 488 from the outside of the car before and kind of sniggered a little bit at the sound of it, inside the car, whereas it's different in the Porsche, the Mercedes, where they try and dumb down the interior exhaust note, Ferrari have upped it, it's really loud in here. And when the turbo's kicking in, <laughs> oh, you miss gear shifts it's that fast. Jesus, it's like when you're in second gear, I'm only driving it in sport at the moment, so traction will be telling me off. But as soon as third gear hits in and the 100% turbo, it's 100%, you, re you get a feel for just how fast this car is. up and I've switched the Manatino now into race which gives you a little slip in the traction control and by no means is that the reason why I've done that I'm staying firmly at around 30 40 percent throttle when I squeeze the throttle and squeezing it gently but the valves are opening a lot earlier which is a really really lovely sound that you get to it and then as you build the rev range up of course you get a bunch of torque but then you also get the little turbo whistle It sounds, it sounds so good and just casually upshifting like <laughs> it's instant it is totally totally instant and a hell of a lot of fun to drive and I can't believe that this car is on the auto train a quarter of a million quid quarter of a million pounds it is absolutely mental and an unbelievable car to drive I'm never going to get more than 20, 30, maybe 40% of its performance capabilities out of this car, but whilst I've got the opportunity of driving such a car, I might as well give it a squeeze. And Alex is enjoying this. <laughs> Look how direct it is! Shunts you on the gear changes. Whoa! So sadly it is time to head back to Porsche Culture Star, 7th gear, 40 miles an hour. I've decided to put the car back into the sport setting and it's automatically fit back into auto. And it's, well, I would say that this mode, as good as it is, is a shame that the Ferrari has this mode. I understand why they put it in because people actually want to use this car and it becomes so much more usable driving around town how I'm driving it now or even in wet mode it's probably even even more mundane um, but yeah I would if I had a 488 I don't think I'd ever have it in automatic mode because I think that the upshifts and the downshift sounds that you get are incredible and it's just too fun it's too fun and overall I am very, very impressed with the 488 GTB. When it first came out, I loved the look of it. 
wasn't convinced on the turboed engine. There will be a separate video coming very soon comparing the turbo engine of the Porsche Cayman, first Cayman to have a turbo engine, the McLaren 570 GT and this because in three days I've driven all three of them. So we've got the sports car, the super sports car and the supercar. That video I will need to edit and I'll need to make sure that that video goes live as soon as possible, way before I go to America. But as this experience goes, the first experience of driving a 488 GTB is going to be one that I remember for a long time. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it and driving this car. Let's head back to Porsche Colchester and then I'll sign off from there. <laughs> Accidentally pressed the button. Oh, maybe like that. Ah, oh, there we go. I think I fixed it. <laughs> I wasn't pulling into the Ferrari dealership on a bone dry day with my windscreen wipers on. I just proved that I have no idea what I'm doing. So we have returned and sadly I'm going to have to give the keys back to the 488 GTB. Massive thank you to Jardine Motors Ferrari Colchester for allowing me pretty much free reign on driving the 488 for a couple of hours. It has been an awesome experience and now I'm going to head in and give the keys back which is very very sad news. But look out for the video on turbocharged sports cars and supercars very soon. Porsche, McLaren and Ferrari all in one video. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you very very soon of Supercars of London. Cheers guys.